you know, after building this PC, it's pretty much solidified. You don't need to spend near as much as you think you do to get a good PC. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a PC build, and I hope after this build that you see, I hope you guys are convinced that you don't actually need as good a hardware to run some good games with high frame rate. Now today, the parts we're gonna be using are gonna be from my wife's previous build. We're gonna be using the 3700X and the 5700XT. Now, guys, this is still really good hardware. I know that it's not the new 5000 series CPU or the 3080 or the 6800 XT. I know it's not the new stuff, but guys, that stuff is really hard to get a hold of. It's way overpriced and people are scalping it left and right. All GPUs are definitely overinflated right now, I know. But this stuff here today is probably gonna be something that you are gonna have a better chance at getting and you're definitely not gonna spend as much doing it which I think that's a win. Now today we're gonna to be doing the build for the PC. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I did it, putting it together, a little montage, and then we're gonna roll into doing some streaming on the PC. I'm gonna actually be streaming and gaming on the same PC, this PC you're gonna to see today, at the same time and letting you guys see what kind of performance it gives and what kind of frame rates it still is able to have while it's streaming. And guys, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. I really don't. So, let's get into it.
to show you guys I'm not on my PC I'm on this PC so as you can see AMD Ryzen 3700X 5700 XT is in. So, now that we've proved ourselves to the trolls out there, practice Fortnite, bro. Ladies, I'm about to start some fun. This is I'm your champion. Looking about as spry as my 80 count. year old mum. That's a Oh my gosh. Let me unfeasible battle. I know, I know, it was struggling to manage that 30 FPS, but guys, Cyberpunk is a really hugely demanding game. I was playing at 1440p, 
There's no DLSS on that 5700 XT to help with upscaling. So that was all card right there. And that was the highest settings. It still did really good and it looked great. And Cyberpunk is a non-competitive RPG. 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, those type of games, you're good. They're gonna look good. It did look good. So guys, I hope I have you convinced. The 5700 XT is not a slouch card. It can still push high resolutions with high FPS on high settings and look good while doing it. I know it's not the new stuff guys and I know I have all the new and shiny, but you really don't need it. If you want it, great, you got the money, great. But if you don't, there's nothing wrong with this older hardware guys. It works and it does it well. And I just wanted you guys to know that you don't need all the new and shiny to have a good experience. So I wanted to show you guys firsthand. Guys, if you got some sort of value out of this video, I would ask that you please give the video a like. It really does help the channel and it allows me to grow as a content creator and it really helps. It really does. It tells YouTube that I'm a decent YouTuber. They put my videos out there for other people to see. If you guys are interested in trying to build something like this, I'll have links in the description for this PC if you guys want to try to build it. That's going to do it for the video. As always, if you do have any questions, concerns, confusions, whatever it may be, don't hesitate. Ask. I don't mind helping. I'm really trying to build something for you guys here. Hope you want to be a part of it. A simple like, share, subscribe, comment. They go so far for the channel. It really helps me continue to grow and make content. With that said, I hope you can like. I hope you can subscribe. And if not, well, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe. A tech vibe. Specifically. We'll see you.